Hello sweet friends, my name is Angie and welcome to the Bumblebee Farmhouse. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the Bumblebee Farmhouse. I always say that I hope that the Bumblebee Farmhouse can be a place where you find a little bit of inspiration to make your house a home sweet home. In today's video, I will be styling some beautiful florals to decorate our home with. I'll also be making a wonderful Greek dish called dolmades, if you guys have never had them. They are these amazing little meatballs rolled up in grape leaves. They are so good. I'll be checking in on the garden as well. And I will also be prepping our home for pests and keeping it pest free and using these traps from Ultra. If you guys have some time, I'd love to have you here hanging out with me at the Bumblebee Farmhouse for some good old fashioned homemaking. So if you have some time, grab a drink and let's hang out here where you are always welcome. So if you didn't catch one of my last videos, I did a haul with Timu and they sent me these really beautiful florals and they're peonies and they are some of my favorite florals, some of my favorite flowers. Um, they're very reminiscent of a cottage flower, something you would find in a beautiful farmhouse or cottage garden. So I just took this old iron glass soup tureen that I had and I just layered the flowers and they just sit so beautifully and I placed them on a metal tray and oh my gosh are they gorgeous. Summer decor doesn't have to be overdone or over exaggerated. It could be something just as simple and as beautiful as some florals on the dining room table. And to get my day started, I am having a second cup of coffee because you have those days where you need two, sometimes three cups of coffee. And in this instance, I am finishing what's left in the coffee pot. Don't judge, but some days <laughs> a glass of wine would suffice, but I think it's a little bit too early for that. So let's get started on these Greek oldomades. They are these little meatballs that instead of breadcrumbs we use rice and we roll them up in grape leaves and um, they are just slowly simmered on the stovetop and everything cooks wonderfully. I'm using lamb in today's recipe. You can use ground beef. I'm pretty sure you could even use ground chicken or turkey. Uh, it's Although it's not traditional, I do like to use ground lamb or ground beef or mix the two, but today it's ground lamb. So you're going to need lots of lemons. You're going to need some rice. You're going to need some lamb. Lots of dill plenty of garlic. I add more garlic than I probably should. Um, and I'll make like a tzatziki type sauce, although this day I was out of cucumber, so I added everything other than the cucumber. But I made this special for Danny because this day he had a super long day at work. Um, they kind of sent him all over the map. He even made it to Iowa that day. And so I knew he was going to come home late and he was going to come home tired and hungry. And I really wanted to make a very special dish for him. If you guys love Greek food, I will link a recipe down below in the description box where you guys can make this dish. I promise you guys will not regret it. It is so good. Food is love and on certain days I do add a little bit of extra love into the kitchen. Uh, some days I don't feel like cooking at all, I'm not going to lie, but you know when my husband is having a rough day, I want to greet him coming through the door where he can get the aroma of home cooking on the stove that can just remind him um, of his childhood and all the yummy things that he just loves. So I have to ask everybody, how is your summer going? Um, I 
hope you guys are all having a beautiful summer. Ours is starting off nicely, even though it's still technically spring. Uh, summer is only about a week away, and I am just looking forward to the beautiful weather. Um, this week, we're going to have a party, so our friends Kim and Tim from Florida will be coming up to hang out with us, and my friend Jane from Wisconsin, and uh, those two special ladies who are my friends also have Archie's brothers from his litter, so we're going to have a little peek party here at the house and actually I'll be making Greek food that day as well when everybody comes over but I'm trying to make some plans for the summer um, just maybe some day trips possibly a road trip I don't know I'm, I'm really aching to go to Tennessee but I wanted to know how everybody is doing and if you guys have any really big plans for your summer So I don't know if you guys know this, but I suffer from high stress and anxiety. Kind of goes hand in hand with my PCOS, my autoimmune disease that I have. But I was just reading through these positive affirmations and I wanted to share some of these with you because I really do think that talking in a very positive manner can definitely change um, the way that your day or even your life is going to go. So I'm going to read some of these affirmations to you guys. Courage starts with showing up and letting ourselves be seen. Make way for the unprecedented and watch your reality rearrange itself. The chance to love and be loved exists no matter where you are. You are loved just for being who you are, just for existing. Conscious breathing is my anchor. I am in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. Open your heart and drink in this glorious day. Am I good enough? Yes, I am. The perfect moment is this one. I am deliberate and afraid of nothing. Your life is about to be incredible. Who you are inside is what helps make you and do everything in life. That's probably one of my favorite ones. Your perspective is unique, it's important, and it counts. Every day above earth is a good day. That one's from Ernest Hemingway. Very wise. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within you. You must do things you think you cannot do. The secret of attraction is to love yourself. Good riddance, the decisions that don't support self-care, self-value, and self-worth. That's right, good riddance to those. I say, looking on the bright side of life never killed anybody. I'm better than I used to be, better than I was yesterday, but hopefully not as good as I'll be tomorrow. So you're just going to take the meat mixture that you saw me use. I made with the ground lamb, rice, oregano, dill, garlic, salt, pepper, lemon zest. Um, you know, I just put it in these grape leaves and I rolled them up like little burritos and they're going to simmer on the stovetop. So I'm going to roll a bunch of these and then we are going to cook them on the stovetop. So in this dish, in this pan, I layered a layer of just regular grape leaves that were rinsed and then I did a layer of the rolled grape leaves, the sliced lemons, and then I covered them up with another layer of just plain, unrolled, just loose grape leaves. And that just kind of creates a barrier 
for the grape leaves to not burn on the bottom of the pan by covering them with just a blanket of grape leaves on the bottom of the pan and on the top. Um, you're also going to cover the domadas, the, grape, the stuffed grape leaves, with chicken stock. Um, you're going to put enough just to kind of go over the rolls so that way that when they cook the rice can absorb the liquid. And all great chefs and home cooks have to taste their creation before serving it to make sure that everything is seasoned and done right. And I have to say, you guys, these were pretty spot on and amazing. Sometimes I like to pop out behind the corner of the wall when my husband Danny comes home and jump out and scare him <laughs> and say boo. But um, on days that are harder on him, I'm not as playful and I love to greet him with a really great home cooked meal. So you guys should definitely try out this recipe. Just sprucing up our deck with some beautiful pink flowers and um, this day was just so gorgeous so it was a good day to go outside and check on the garden on the little orchard that we have we have peach trees and mulberry trees and some blueberry bushes um, I think all the rhubarb is pretty much done being harvested but I would say the mulberries are almost done being ripened I would say more than half of them so we decided to go on back and also pick some mulberries so Danny was out there helping me this day and I love picking mulberries and freezing them I actually made a mulberry rhubarb pie last year that was just absolutely delicious gardeners are earthy they dig dirt Lofty, they love the sun and sky. Whimsical, loving rainbows and butterflies. Artists painting yards with flowers. Dreamers, their garden is their Eden. Poets creating poetry with plants. Optimists, loving seeds of possibility to life. Creators, most of all, co-creating with the creator. Laura Anderson, Gardens All. So I want to thank Ultra for sending me out some really, really cool products. And I don't know if this is something that a lot of people think about, but I think about it here on a bigger property and that is pest control. And when, you keep, when you're keeping like a nice home and you want everything to be clean um, and you want to enjoy your things, the house should be pest free. And I know sometimes we don't think about it until those pests enter our home and then it becomes a huge problem. So a lot of the times we don't think about pests, at least I don't, until like they actually come into the house, which thankfully we have not had a major issue in this house. Um, I know in our last house we did catch a mouse one time and that was, <laughs> that was a little nerve wracking because I know they multiply really quickly. So a lot of the times when we are homemaking and we're nesting and we're fixing our house to make it our home sweet home, sometimes we don't think about the other critters from the outside that want to come in and make this their home sweet home as well. And um, Ultra reached out to me and they wanted to send me a mouse and rat trap. And I know I've never done anything like this on my channel, but keeping a clean home goes hand in hand with the homemaking. And the last thing that I would want to see is a mouse in the house just because they are so diseased. Um, so they sent me out the mouse trap and the rat trap. Now we have seen signs of mice in our shed out in the backyard. 
um, and then by the garage in the back where we have our fire pit because it's like more of a heavily wooded area. So I'm sure that mice do nest back there, you guys. It is the outdoors and you're gonna get rodents no matter what outside. So they did send me the mouse trap and they did send me a rat trap. I have not seen any signs of a rat. I'm hoping I'll never see signs of a rat, but you never know what's lurking outside on your property, just waiting to get its claws, its little grubby hands in your home. Um, so I'm gonna have Danny set these up, but the mouse trap is this size. Here is the container. So this actually works with batteries. You put the bait in the back. It says bait right there. So you put the bait in there and there's, they do suggest using peanut butter to bait in the mouse. And then I believe this um, it is electronic, so I think it electrocutes them. So it says you need for the mouse trap, which is right here, you need four AA batteries, which I have. Um, they say it's quick and humane. So uh, it says the four AA batteries could remove up to 90 mice, which I hope that's not an issue that we have here at the Bumblebee Farmhouse. Um, and it says it's got built-in safety sensors to protect kids and pets. Um, we don't have any children, but we do have dogs, but they don't obviously go in the shed or in the basement. They're, um, they're very much uh, near me all the time. Um, so it's a no touch, no see, no mess disposal. Uh, literally, the mouse gets in from the side here, goes in, and then the bait is in the back. And then once it crosses a certain section, um, yeah, that's uh, it takes care of that problem. Attach the top chamber back into place, insert four AA batteries, and turn the switch to the on position. The green light will flash to indicate the trap has been activated. You put in all this hard work and effort to make your house a home sweet home and you want it to be clean and sanitary and the moment one of those little suckers come in, it's kind of it's kind of a headache because you have to th clean everything thoroughly and throw away the food because you don't know if they got in the food and it could be a really big disaster. So this is the mouse trap that Ultra sent me and then this is the uh, rat trap. This is a much bigger obviously it's going to attract a large rat um, to to get so here's the rat size and then here is the mouse trap size I'm gonna link um, the I'm gonna link down below in the description box where you can purchase these traps um, you guys like I said if you want to make your house home and sweet and clean and sanitary again a lot of people spray for bugs um, to prevent them from coming in, but sometimes we don't think about the rodents that want to come in, especially in the autumn and the winter. I would say, uh, you know, because they want to come in and find a warm place to be. But uh, I'm going to set up some of these traps in the house. We have uh, landscape fabric rolled up, and in the in the front pieces of the landscape fabric, you can see like little bites, little scratches. So he says he thinks that they're. I don't know if they're still there, but he thinks at some point there was mice. So we want to kind of take care of that and not have an issue having mice because I don't even want them touching our things as uh, as much as we can prevent it. So on the user manual that comes with the mouse and or the rat trap, there are facts in the back. I'm just going to kind of go over them with you guys. It says, how do I dispose a dead rodent? Turn the switch to off and remove the batteries. Pull and remove the top of the trap, then properly discard the rodent in an outdoor trash bin. Pretty simple. The mouse trap needs four AA batteries, and I believe the rat trap needs C batteries, which are four C batteries. So obviously the bigger the trap, the bigger the batteries that you're gonna need. It says that it's not meant for outside, but you can use it, it says outdoors, or in any area that's shielded from water. So actually this might be good for our deck because we have like a two foot awning 
um, over the deck so that might be something that we want to uh, try doing um, because I don't know what's living under the deck which is connected to the house and obviously you don't want any of that you don't want any of those things coming into the house I want to thank Ultra for sending me out the mouse and rat traps today again I'm going to link it down below in the description box and interested in purchasing any of these you know like I said you guys you take so much um, pride and hard work and energy to make your house beautiful to decorate it beautifully and wonderfully but you don't think about the pests that are coming in and uh, it's something that a lot of the times we don't think about until the problem has kind of made its way into the house and they carry so much disease and they multiply so fast so it's just something that I want to prevent in our home I want to take precaution prevent it in our home so I will be setting out the mouse and the rat trap I want to see if it's going to catch anything are are the little rodents active right now um, and then it'll be probably really good to use it in the autumn just to kind of prevent anything from trying to come in during the winter time and nest and like make its way into our house because that's the believe me that is the last thing that you want because I've seen it in my last house just one and we caught it before it started you know multiplying and whatnot but that's just something that you don't want to have in your house I know that they carry just so much disease and as cute as they are sometimes I just don't want them in the house at all I put so much time and effort into making this house home and sweet and beautiful and the last thing I want to do is worry about a little mouse getting into the house or worse a rat hopefully that like I said but like I said we also do have a wooded area out back where um, kind of preventing that would be the smart thing to do. So I'm not going to show this portion of showing you guys a dead mouse because I just didn't think that it was something I wanted to show on my channel. But the next morning we did find the light flashing green and there was a dead mouse in there. So I can only imagine if we end up putting the rat trap out by the shed in the wooded area what it will catch. So once again, Ultra, I want to thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and for sending me out these traps. If you guys are interested in any of these items, I'm going to link them down below in the description box where you guys can purchase them. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today at the Bumblebee Farmhouse where I say that you guys are always welcome. And I hope that you did find a little bit of inspiration to make your house a home sweet home here at the Bumblebee Farmhouse. And remember friends, as Dorothy Gill once said, there is no place like home. That's right, friends. Home, sweet home. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.